What's up guys, my name is Curtis and welcome to 5 Minute Finance, where I take personal finance topics and explain them to you in 5 minutes or less. It seems like no matter where you look, whether it's social media, conversations with friends, families, or even colleagues, or just taking a stroll around the block, it takes no more than a few minutes for conversations to turn political, regardless of which side you find yourself on. And that always begs the same question in my mind. Why is it so easy for people to get extremely passionate about things like politics, religion, and what have you, yet money and finance still seem like these taboo subjects that everyone is uncomfortable talking about? It's unfortunate people aren't more willing to discuss finance, but I think the reason, at least here in America, is something along the lines of this. For some reason, there's this widely held belief that your value as a person is, in a way, tied to your material possessions and the value of your accounts. And there's sometimes this fear that if we tell people our incomes or our net worth, we're exposing how much our employer or even society as a whole values us. Now, although I think your value as a person is completely unrelated to your income or your net worth, I do understand why some people are uncomfortable talking about finance, but they shouldn't be. And here's why. There's a saying that goes, you are like the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. When it comes to finance, surrounding yourself with people who aren't afraid to talk about money and investing on a regular basis can be extremely important. This is really just anecdotal evidence, but if I look at all the friends and family that I have, the ones who are more comfortable talking about finance are the ones that, at least in my opinion, are probably better off financially. I do realize there's no way to prove that point because the ones who don't talk about finance, I have really no idea how their financial situation is, but it's just a hunch that I have. Now, I'm not saying you should ditch your friends altogether who won't talk money with you, nor should you force financial conversations on people who are uncomfortable with it. But if nobody in your circle ever discusses topics like financial independence or investments or things like that, it's not a bad idea to join some sort of online blog or group just so you have a place to talk about finances so you can improve. You may also be thinking to yourself, wow, I'm really uncomfortable talking about finances, so what can I do to break that and be more willing? To start, have conversations with close friends and family who you're comfortable with about small topics, like maybe you found a checking account at the local credit union that's yielding 2.5% or whatnot. And as you go on, you can get into more complex things like investment returns or whatever you want to talk about. Also, you need to understand that, especially at first, you're probably going to need to be a bit vulnerable. But remember, any question that you have about money, others probably do too, and you'll find that through conversation. Lastly, always keep it non-judgmental. Whether you're a millionaire or a million dollars in debt, never try to compare yourself to others when discussing finances. This can be really difficult and full transparency is something that I myself struggle with a lot. But the more you can just talk topics and not compare yourself to others, the better. There's always going to be someone with more than you when it comes to finances, and there's probably always going to be someone who's handling their finances worse than you are. Just focus on learning when you're talking about finance with people. Again, I know money discussions can be really scary for some people, and in a way I absolutely understand why. But I love to see more people get interested in personal finance so that they can improve their net worth no matter what their current situation is. If you guys enjoyed this video, it would really help me out if you gave it a thumbs up, and if you're new around here and want to see more personal finance videos in the future, click on this globe right here to subscribe, and as always, hit that notification bell.